Well, we're at Fraserburgh, uh, on the Broch, which is one of the great fishing ports of Scotland. But what's here is not a fishing boat, what's here is a survey boat, which is looking at the, the Murray Firth, not from a fishing point of view, but from a point of view looking at the, the seabed and where best to, to lay the cable, which will connect the great wind farm, which is uh, going to emerge in the Murray Firth, to shore. So it's the very start of a, an industry which is going to dominate the industrial future of Scotland, because over the next 20 years or so, we're going to generate 45,000 jobs, we're going to research and develop and install and fabricate and maintain and service these great energy structures which will become the heart of the, the green energy powerhouse of Europe. And all that's going to be done in the coast around Scotland. And the Aveiro here is looking at the, the seabed to see where best to lay the cables at the very start of this great industrial adventure. We're mapping a variety of areas, the seabed, and look for potential hazards to the cable installation, but we're looking at the sub-bottom geology to make sure that when the cable can be installed, it can be safely buried. Uh, there's some underwater photography involved and there's some seabed sampling involved as well. Fantastic wind resource in this area. We have wind speeds you know, up to or in excess of 10 metres per second at the heights that we're talking about installing wind turbines. And it's just, it's, it's an unbelievable resource and you need to build the power stations where the resource is in the case of renewables. The knock-on effect of the wind farm will be that there will be, you know, uh, fabrication works, a uh, certain amount of employment, particularly during the operation and maintenance phase. And we'll have an asset out in the Murray Firth that hopefully will last us 25, 30 years. Uh, and will produce an enormous amount of power, you know, comparable really with hydropower back in the 50s and 60s. Around the coast of Scotland, if you take things in total, then we've probably got a quarter of the wind energy potential of the continent of Europe. Not of the UK, but of Europe. And some of these early projects, like this Murray Firth project, are some of the most exciting of all. And, and a lot of the concepts and initiatives that are made for this project will become the template of the great projects to come. So, you know, we're, we're in the the rapids of an industrial revolution were in the early stages, but the water's getting very exciting. <laughs>